Well, the way I look at a relationship is that it's a beautiful way, particularly if it's a loving relationship, it's a beautiful way for you to work through a lot of your emotions, including emotions about sexuality, right? But it's going to require you owning your own emotion at every single moment and living in truth at every single moment about those emotions. So, for example, if you're a male and you're feeling controlled by the woman in the sex act, then if you're honest with yourself, you will stop the sex act and say, look, I feel you're being quite controlling. Right? Now, she might then get angry at you because she's used to controlling you. Right? And then if both of you go underneath those emotions and really look at those emotions, you can work through lots of issues with regard to sexuality and control and what you feel about each other really quite rapidly. And it's a beautiful way of getting closer together. Or you could choose to totally ignore it. You're feeling controlled, but you just like the feeling of having sex. So you ignore the fact that you're feeling controlled. Right? Now, if you do that, that's going to harm you because all you're doing is denying yourself. Can you see? Like, so if you act lovingly and you, and you deal with everything lovingly and you deal with everything in truth, a relationship is a perfect place for you to grow spiritually, even if the relationship is not a soulmate relationship. It's a perfect place for you to grow spiritually. Mm -hmm.